This video is an excerpt from the new ChatGPT for BIM Managers mini course with Stepan Mikulic. The full course includes 9 lessons with more than 30 practical ways of using ChatGPT in your BIM job. The course also includes an ebook PDF with all the content. Join BIMPure and unlock our entire library of content, including Revit courses, collections of families and templates, live master classes, and other BIM master sessions with the world's brightest AAC experts. Enroll now by following the link in the video description. What to use ChatGPT for? And for this, I'm just gonna go to ChatGPT. It's currently not available for Windows, but maybe at the time you're watching this, it will be. Um, and the first thing I want to answer is how can you even use ChatGPT4 as a BIM manager? So <laughs> I'm a bit, a bit lazy when it comes to writing out prompts. So I'm going to use this little icon, this little microphone here. And I'm going to tell you why I'm using this one and not this one in, uh, as we go on. But I'm just going to um, use this click and talk my prompt, essentially. I am a BIM manager working for an architectural design studio focusing on school and university design. Give me 100 different ideas on how to use ChatGPT in my work. And as soon as we cl click finish, this is all transcribed. It's really good. I've tested it in many different cases. The only thing is, uh, which, what I'm going to mention as we're waiting for the answer, is that if you have another person uh, coming in with a different voice, it might mistake what is being said in a different language. Typically, it gets the message right, but it, it, it might turn out as a different language. So this is something to keep in mind. But as you can see here, to answer the questions on what to even use ChatGPT for, there's a hundred different ways, and it's just going to tell you what to use it for. <laughs> so I, I get a lot of people, and I tell them, just ask ChatGPT for this. And we're like, oh, wow, I haven't even thought about this. So as you see here, like the first thing is for BIM workflows, generate Dynamo scripts for automating repetitive Revit tasks, suggest best practices, automate data extraction from Revit schedule, create standardized templates for Revit families, draft BIM project specifications, and so on and so forth. Generate training materials, optimize family performance. Now, the thing I'm, I'm going to mention here is that ChatGPT can serve as a general assistant. But of course, it can be your BIM tool for you. It's not meant to, to serve that, but it's meant to serve everything you do around the BIM tool itself, if that makes sense. So as you can see, there's a hundred different ways you can, and it's still going on, <laughs> which is pretty fun. And as, 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 as a summary, it says with ChatGPT, you can streamline your BIM workflows, enhance collaboration, reduce errors, and optimize designs for better school and university architecture. Now, something I could have done with uh, ChatGPT is go even more specific. Tell it even more about my job and my work. The second thing I would say is that if you're still wondering, ah, oh, okay, these are just, these are great ideas, but I really want it to be more custom to me. I wouldn't even start with ChatGPT. I would recommend you to outline your own tasks for the last two weeks. Just think about it. last two weeks, you went to work probably every day. So what did you do? What are your typical tasks? And even though this seems like a simple exercise, it's very powerful. I do it with on all my workshops and I have all my students do it because writing down your tasks really makes sense when you, when, when you want to use AI, because as soon as there's some data uh, flow from one app to another, you can probably use AI and in this case, ChatGPT. And as I've said, um, what you need to remember ChatGPT is a general assistant, meaning it gets you 80% of the way there. So in this case of generating cheat sheets for Revit shortcuts, it can definitely help you. Let's try this. Generate cheat sheets for Revit shortcuts. Take some most popular Revit shortcuts you have in your database and write them out as um, in, in your answer. Let's see what it comes up with. Yes, so now we have the message. And let's just click send and see what it answers. As you see, here's a Revit shortcut cheat sheet. And all of a sudden, you get a cheat sheet with a shortcut and action. You can, of course, specify it. You can add who's going to do what or, you know, whatever. This is just a concept. Again, you can use it to generate tables and so on and so forth. So as you see, it already creates all of this for you, which is pretty cool, pretty amazing. And instead of you typing all of this out, creating a Word, you know, um, file with a new... Um, 
a table and Googling online to find all of these shortcuts, it has it all within it. To answer the question of what, but I don't want to pay for ChatGPT, let's say in your case, or maybe your company forbid using ChatGPT, which I definitely think it's not a good idea, yeah, but maybe that's in your case. Um, what would I recommend? Is it Gemini? Is it Lord? Is it DeepSeek? So I generally recommend Gemini for those using Google suite of apps. It's pretty similar. Um, when we go here, uh, yeah, my subscription is Kazanda because I pretty much don't use it. But one of the cool things that it has is this gem manager which can, which can navigate your Gmail and your Google Drive and look for files there and answer questions based on those files. So if you're using uh, a Google workspace, I would definitely recommend Gemini because it's more integrated there. Um, and for those who maybe work with research papers or need uh, a lot more from an LLM to extract more files, I recommend Claude. So this is something that you know um, I would I would go for, um, and of course because Cloud.net is a bit better than that as like at this kind of deep thinking and reasoning in my opinion, and it also has arc, um, ar artifacts which are um, basically AI apps. You can you, know, you see here I was creating a, on my workshops I create a restaurant bill splitting app with Tip where you kind of it uh, develops it, but you can also see it on the side how it works where you just say, I want you to create an app where we can split the restaurant bill among people and we can choose whether to or not to leave a tip. So, you know, and it works immediately. You have it as an app and we, let's say we're 17 people and we want to we wanna be really, you know, um, leave a big tip and all of a sudden we know what it is. And this is a simple application, but you can use it for naming stuff. You can use it for anything within your BIM workflow. But again, you need to outline your tasks and know what you need within your company, what are kind of people always asking you about. So this is something that Claude can do. Uh, but ChatGPT can as well in a different way. We're going to cover that or uh, later in this lesson.